We now move on to our second production question. For who should we produce? The economy produces goods and services for those people who have purchasing power. Money. In other words, we produce for people who have some form of income, like wages, salaries, interest and profit. Only those with purchasing power can demand goods. Therefore, the economy produces for those people who demand. It's important to note that the government also demands certain goods and services and pass them on to those who do not have the purchasing power or money. We call this transfer payments or quid pro quo payments. These are payments like social welfare. Let's have a look at the sectors of an open economy. The following formula C plus I plus G plus X minus Z explains the sectors of an open economy. C is for consumption by households and individuals. Consumers demand the basics of an economy like food and houses. They determine what should be produced. I is for investment by firms and businesses. This is part of the economy that uses all the production factors to produce goods and services. They determine how goods and services are produced within the economy. Now G is for the government, also referred to as the public sector. Government also consumes and produces certain goods and services. Government is funded by taxes. X minus Z is for the international or foreign sector. Z is for imports, goods produced by another country and imported by us. X for exports, goods that are produced inside a country and bought by consumers in another country. Let's have a look at gross domestic product or GDP. Now GDP is used to measure economic activity within a community. GDP reflects the total value of all final goods and services produced within a country over a specified time period. Now the word value refers to the price given to all final goods and services. Word final, we only use final goods like bread and we exclude intermediate goods like the flour used to produce the bread. Within a country, within a country refers to all goods and services produced within the borders of a country. We already know that GDP is a total value of all goods and services consumed within a country. This means that we can use the open economic function to determine GDP. This means GDP equals C plus I plus G plus X minus Z. Let's take a brief look at supply and demand. The bond, the quantity of goods and services that potential consumers can afford and are willing to purchase. Demand is a flow concept. In other words, it is measured over a time period. The quantity demanded is dependent on the price of the product and the price of the complementary or substitute good, the income of the consumer and the taste of the consumer. We can illustrate demand graphically. We've got the price of goods and the quantity of goods. We can see that, that the law of demand is illustrated here. The greater the price, the less we will demand. Let's have a look at supply. Supply is the quantity of goods or service that producers are willing and able to produce over a specified time period. Quantity supplied is dependent on the price at which the goods can be sold, price of complementary or substitute goods, and price of the production factors. And just like demand, we can illustrate supply graphically.